guess with the big welder now I have to get on to doing some more tin. Still got a little welder. This is a good seal. This one, not so good. We got it quite a bit of rust into that sill. And the back, no, that's all the way through. This is what it looks like to start dissecting a sill, step sill, econoline. This is the floor chunk I have. It's upside down right now. It's a piece by piece, removing each one, trying to save it. It's pretty much is down here. Cover this up. This will be this piece here. Placement for that rusty, rusty spot. These are the in, inner fill pieces. Each piece coming out one at a time. This is off the front. All these lower pieces are rusty on mine. This one's starting to rust a bit, but it's got no holes in it. Mine are completely rusted, gone. So we're gonna try and take this piece off too. So yeah, this is uh piece by piece. Next I gotta drill this piece off, drill all the rivet holes out, pop the piece off, rivet, or spot welds, pardon me, these are all spot welds from factory. Drill out all the spot welds and then uh, remove it piece by piece. I'm gonna try and save this piece, this part of the sill, and this step piece as one. I'm gonna try and keep that as one. And this, and try and put this in, graft this in, as one piece. And here, on this part here, we're going to try and cut it along here lower and then I'm going to separate this off here and try and take this whole lower piece, just take it right out. This is what it looks like all separated from the rivets where you drill out all the holes. This piece here is going to need to be cut off and welded on to the other piece because this whole chunk is just too heavy duty to try and change. This one's not too bad, other than the bottom of it's rusted out, so we're going to cut that off and weld on the other piece. Got my lines drawn out where I got to start cutting. And that's the removed uh, step sill from uh, passenger side of that floor piece as well. That side is actually not as bad. It's the driver's side here. The driver's side's the worst, so we'll deal with that first. We might do the passenger side later on. That's where we're at for this. So, rust repair as well. So, there's a lot to be done to this truck. Like I said before, we're gonna replace this rusty chunk seal, which is nice piece of seal. Oh, the dissecting has begun taking these pieces out along the seams we're gonna have to drill out each spot weld but it's a lot easier to drill it out when it's just a thin strip so I'm just chopping out all the old rot all the rusty metal that's just really not going to stay so this we're going to cut along there try and join it along cut that out this is the back section half an inch lower than the other piece so that it'll still fit. This is the previous piece here. This is a new piece. This is also our floor. Put in. This one I will probably cut it along here, but we'll figure that out once I got that one dissected out exactly where I want it. So this is just literally the replacement piece right now. So very rusty so much rust everywhere so we're going to cut it back to probably across here because it's still in up to there at least there's a rust up to there at least so we're going to cut it back this, this is a little rusty here we'll get rid of that too cut that out maybe we'll glue a line down there cut this across there join everything up i can pretty much dissect which way for which way i want to go depending on which piece we're going to use for the inside outside is actually this inside piece right there right in here so 
yeah continue dissecting and getting it prepped for the new pieces to go to start replacing all kinds of sections of floor got this piece ready to go into the footwell area bad lighting sorry but yeah still have to cut that piece out the rest of the way got this piece made bend it up put a step on it knock some holes in it and get it uh, fitting in there this one be replacing the piece right there and still making the piece for the front here this is the piece we're making for the front and then once that's in place then we can actually get this footwell back in but oh what a project a lot been going on uh, trying to get this done I don't know this truck's been sitting around for a long time so a lot of things wrong with it the engine's only just one of them but to tell you the truth I have no idea how good the transmission is either so yeah it's, it's ground up there's all the pieces I removed out of the sill already so this is the leftover floor rusty floor part of the wheel well as you can see when you're taking it out it's more of a just get it out of there get it cut out you want to get all the all the bad rusty metal out of there as you can see that what's left of the sill this wasn't much left of this sill to begin with I took this back up to where the rust started but there's still a bit of rust over on there that we've got to take off but yeah you can see how it gets into the seams and then comes a layered up rust cake basically this was the bottom of the main cab mount which I actually had to use this as a template yeah so you can see where the rust starts the original gray metal and then the rust starts yeah so, place and well piece Spread right about there but as you can see like even had holes in it completely gone so yeah that's all the rest we've removed already there's the odor piece this is all the driver's side thankfully the passenger side actually is in pretty decent shape it's only got a couple holes and you can see from over this side it's really not that bad the lower part of it's still intact I'm hoping to just patch up that side. This side, it was the whole footwell and part of the floor. So, tin, tin is not my forte. Alright, a little hard to see, but we've got the first piece welded into the floor now. So, that'll give us our base to our mount. Gotta get the next piece formed in. It over top of that and we'll weld that into the mount. Uh, I got one floor piece tacked in nice and solid there. I got the next one made up with its holes and then stepped. So we're going to lift it up over the edge of the beam right there that'll overlap up top there that'll overlap there a little bit of crusty metal but hopefully because it's overlapped be all right we get low on tin we're gonna rust inhibit to all of this once it's welded up anyways give it a good grind down good paint job so should should be just fine so yeah i have to fit this one in next get all the plug welds plugged up and weld it up and that'll be that part of it I can finally start putting the foot weld back in my old blown up welder I've got a new one i'll show you guys the new welder i think i might have showed it it might be in another video already i don't know days are all kind of blending together but uh, i still have to cut this off this is the lower mount of what's left of the floor going further along here we're getting to a point now i can almost fit this uh 
lower step now. It's, I had it in there last night. It started getting too dark last night again. I'm running out of time. Constantly running out of time. But this piece is all tacked in, welded down. Tacked in, welded. We'll do final welding when we're all done. Found some more holes. Damn, can't believe it. So many holes now all of a sudden. And I'm finding more holes up in here. So it's not exactly the greatest situation going on and chasing rust. Huh? Anyways, all this is fresh. It still looks a little cruddy. Wire wheel, the rest of it. But yeah, it's coming along good. I haven't decided if I'm going to replace this entire corner piece or not. And you see, there's a lot of extra holes in that compared to this one. So that actually fits in the corner there. So reconstruct the rest of the sill as we get it put back on there. And I think the easiest way at this point is to go lift it straight up into here. This is where I cut back to where all the rust is gone. We'll lift this straight up, we'll tack it in along there, and then we'll just start reconstructing and then I'll We'll weld the bottom cap back on at the end when we weld it all into this. We'll weld all this into, into this as one once we're tacked up to here and we make sure our door lines are good. I still have to cut the front. I haven't cut this yet to match here yet. When, as you can see the rust kind of ends right here so I'm probably going to follow this line and then just take this one off at uh, separate the tin back and then cut this one down here probably right along the line there too and hopefully slightly higher than where this is at and move this piece of metal here too this piece didn't get come off either for that flatten it out but uh yeah this is the corner that was left in there from the original original sill footwell so this is nice, nice and solid along here so hopefully hopefully this 20 gauge holds up I preferred to do the floor out at 16 or 18 but thanks for watching <laughs>